town of Eldemir, there lived a reclusive wizard named Aldric, who was known for his extraordinary talents in the arcane arts. One day, a struggling artist arrived at Aldric's doorstep, her page filled with a drawing of the area surrounding Aldric's home. Desperate to breathe life into her art, she sought the wizard's help. Away with you, and I will consider your request, said the wizard. The artist returned to where she had created her drawing and decided with or without his help, she would attempt to complete her painting. Aldrich, intrigued by the artist's passion, saw an opportunity, and with a devilish thought, he decided to assist. With a wave of his hand, he tossed a magic orb to the heavens and whispered an ancient incantation into the air. Lightning flashed and thunder cracked all around. A magical storm had begun. Magic exploded and began to swirl. Suddenly flew from the castle and made its way into the artist's drawing. The artist was startled as the once still paper started to quiver. Excitement grew as she realized the wizard had chosen to help her after all. Clouds floated along the surface and vibrant colors began to dance and a soft ethereal mist enveloped the scene. The artist's eyes widened with amazement and fear as the painting came to life before her. Skeletons danced among the gravestones. Leaves rustled, the grass began to stir, and a noise came from the painted trees. What were the sounds coming from those trees?
From the depths of the canvas emerged creatures and haunts, ghosts. Ghouls and zombies came to life in the old trees that seemed to speak in hushed ancient voices. Corpses burst from the grave. Suddenly, two glowing orbs in the trees began to move. What now, she thought. The artist barely escaped the wolf that snarled and tried to leap from the page. As she painted the foreground, ghosts hovered. Something rustled in the trees. The artist feared it could be another wolf. Suddenly, bats rushed towards her. Overwhelmed by the creatures brought to life, the artist painted a witch brewing a powerful spell. She must stop the enchantment before these creatures could escape the artwork. This was not the type of enchantment she had in mind when asking for Altrick's help. She continued painting the witch in hopes she could help. cauldron bubbled and spiders were about, but alas, the witch created a magical apple, and from the page she passed it to the artist. Give this to the wizard as a thank you for all he has done. 
one bite and he will slumber, ending his spell and trapping all the creatures here within the page, she told the artist. Suddenly, three scary jack-o'-lanterns sprung to life and began to dance. She did as instructed, and returning to the artwork, she felt compelled to continue. As she painted the final pumpkins, the cauldron continued to bubble and a spider hung in the air. She feared the apple was not working. She was afraid to continue. She feared finishing the artwork would be the thing that released the painting's creatures into Elmere. But she could not stop painting. She was still under Aldrich's enchantment. Was this it? Would all the creatures begin to find their way out of the painting? As the artist stared, fearing what creatures would escape next, the witch began to smile, spelled a jack-o'-lantern, and they began to dance in the graveyard below the moon. She watched the witch and Jack dance and felt lighter. Somehow she knew that Aldrich's enchantment no longer had a hold on her. Never again will I ask a wizard for help, she thought to herself. For a brief, extraordinary moment, art and magic had merged creating a world where the boundaries between imagination and reality dissolved. It was a testament to the incredible power of both the artist's creativity and the wizard's magic. But was the spell truly broken? Was Eldemir safe? from Aldrich's enchantments? As the final strokes were made, the jack-o'-lanterns began to flicker. And then there was a wicked laughter. One escaped the page, barely missing the artist, as flew off towards the castle. The artist locked the painting away just to be safe. After all, the witch herself was an enchantment. Could the artist trust her magic to save the people of Eldemir? Or did our helpful witch have evil plans of her own?